15 or 16, depending on how we count Governor Jim Gilmore, the former governor of Virginia. Scott Walker gets in today. We've known for a long time he's been running. Uh, his big mark with the conservative base is I stood up to the labor unions. I'm fighting teacher tenure in the state of Wisconsin. Just before his announcement, he signed his budget, the Wisconsin state budget. One of the reasons he hasn't announced earlier was he wanted to get some state business done. Another reason, let's be honest, he wanted to raise a lot of money, like Jeb Bush for his super PAC, before he officially jumped in. He says, look at this video, campaign video just out this morning. He says a lot of nice people running for the Republican nomination, but there's one big difference, Scott Walker says. In the Republican field, there are some who are good fighters. They haven't won those battles. There are others who've won elections but haven't consistently taken on the big fights. He showed you can do both. Now I'm running for president to fight and win for the American people. Essentially, he's going after some of the bigger names. Uh, they've won elections, but they haven't taken on the big fights. I assume that means people like Jeb Bush. Uh, what is his calling card here? He is, he's interesting in that he's being very clear. He says, I'm going to fight for the Republican base. I'm not going to move to the middle. I think if I prove that I'm the most conservative guy in the field who can govern, I can win. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if you talk to voters in Iowa in particular, also in New Hampshire, if they know something about Scott Walker, they know about his recall fight in Wisconsin. They know that he took on the unions and he won. And so his campaign wants to capitalize on that. They feel like that is something that appeals to Republican voters, particularly voters who have watched a Republican-controlled Congress not be able right. to push back on Obama on a lot of things and, and not be able to take back the White House. I, is it enough that he was was the winning Republican in the conservative base's mind during the tough Obama years. You had a Democratic president reelected. There was Scott Walker in a blue state fighting the fight, quote unquote, winning the fight. But we've also seen to win Iowa, he's moved to the right. And some people will say, well, wait a minute, you're doing just what you said not to do. You're kind of flip flopping and, and pandering to the base. Well, because he's the Iowa front runner at this point, and because he's just now getting in the race, I think there's going to be a lot more scrutiny on some of Scott Walker's shifting positions and also on uh, his, his foreign policy expertise. We've been hearing from his team that this is something he's really been sort of cramming on, taking sort of a crash course uh, to, to become more prepared on, on foreign policy. A lot of people comparing him to Sarah Palin, saying right. he has the potential to sort of uh, you know, catch fire with a lot of conservatives, but then really uh, destroy himself if he doesn't show that he has that expertise. So this is going to be a real test for Scott Walker. We've seen him not uh, be very available to the media in the last several months. Uh, that's going to have to change, and that's going to be a real test for him.